Hey guys, it's Sai back again from Tech Translated and welcome back to another video. In my introduction video, I mentioned that I'll be doing some series and today I'll be opening up my first series. This series will be about mobile phones where I'll be explaining what exactly the components in these devices mean and what they can do for your phone. So without any further ado, let's get started. So if you look at your mobile phone, what do you see on the front and back? Maybe a screen, company logo, one or two speakers, front and back cameras and much more. But what actually powers all of this? That is called a processor. This drives your device throughout the day and is the backbone of your phone. These days in mobile phones you can throw quite a lot at your device and it will swiftly carry out your demands. But over time processor speeds tend to wear down and as you download and update more and more apps, it tends to become harder for the processor to deal with all those apps. Processors can also be called chipsets or CPUs. These processors also come along with many different bit capacities if you want to call it. A bit is basically the smallest unit of data in the computer. There are many different capacities, but for mobile phones, the most common are 32 bit and 64 bit. We also have four numbers for these processors. One processor can often heat up rapidly and lag your device if it handles so much all by itself and possibly strain and ruin your battery. So we have dual core, quad core and optical core ranges to avoid this as much as possible and speed up your phone with different cores handling different things at the same time. CPU clock speed or clock rate is measured in hertz but most commonly in gigahertz if you hear a tech youtuber saying 2.7 gigahertz quad core processor or something similar it means all cores clocked at 2.7 gigahertz each. Incredibly fast. But with so much rivalry in the technology world today there is no chance of there being only one processor. So to kick off, we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets. These big guys pretty much dominate the Android market. They are the intel of smartphones. There are many many Snapdragon chipsets which have been included in Android phones but the list is too long. These guys have also brought much to the market with each chipset variant. Due to this we now have the ability of 3G or 4G connection, Ultra HD video recording and much more. The smartphone business is huge. So for some companies, it's worth them making components or investing their money into it. And that's exactly what we saw from Intel. They made a couple of chipsets for smartphones which were amazing. Lightning speeds, better battery life and better cameras. But despite offering so much, they didn't really make an impact. They showed themselves in the Acer Zenfone, Motorola Razr and a few more. But Qualcomm still continued to dominate. Next up, we have Apple A chipset. Apple's chipset started off with the A4. This was a 32-bit processor and it was included in the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th generation and Apple have been known to invent many new things with their new devices. The iPhone 4 featured the first 8 megapixel camera which set the ball rolling for other companies but Apple were also the first to make a 64-bit processor which popped up in the iPhone 5S and iPad Air. Unsurprisingly, other companies also started to follow and make their own 64-bit processors. Finish off with, we have Samsung with a chipset called Exynos and it has many variants. It's included in almost all Samsung smartphones nowadays and these are optical processors but unfortunately clock at low gigahertz. So overall the processor is a key component in any device and not just mobile phones. Different phones contain different processors. Also some companies get other companies to manufacture their own chipset such as Apple. In the new iPhone 6 range, they all featured the A9 chip, but there are two kinds of A9 chips, which may not make a difference to you, but if you had two iPhone 6s with the two different versions, there's a subtle but clear difference. One version is manufactured by Samsung, their biggest rival, and the other manufactured by a company called TSMC. So that concludes this video, feel free to leave a like down below to show your support. Thanks a lot for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed, my name is Bidsai, I'll catch you next time.